Okay, so <clears throat> now right here where my cylinder meets my hexagon, I have a little bit of an abrupt step. So we're gonna put a chamfer on here to um, make that a little bit nicer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my chamfer bit here. You can see it's the one with the 45 degree bend in it here. All right, and I'm just gonna loosen up my tools here and remember don't back these things all the way out you just waste all of your time turning screws okay, just loose enough to pull that guy out take my brush in here sweep the chips out of the way I'll make sure my bit sits nice and flat slide the chamfer bit in okay and then tighten these guys down I like to start with the center one that tight. Oops, sorry about that. Crank that on there and get them. Okay, don't need to be crushing things, just get them tight enough. I'll move my bit into position and let me try and move your view here so you can see what it is we're going to be doing. <clears throat> so now Take my machine, uh, we'll turn it back on, and before I start, take just a little bit of oil on my brush and just put a little bit of oil on what I'm going to cut here. Okay, I like to be pretty light using this brush so the machine doesn't throw it all over me when I turn it on. Okay, we'll get this thing up to speed. And then I can bring my tool in. I'm just looking in here at where my tool is going to contact the metal. And then I can just move it along. Turn it into the metal here. Back it out. See what I got. And so now stuff out of the way. Instead of having a really abrupt step up, you'll see a nice 45 degree kind of a that goes from here and sort of slopes up into that. And so that little bevel right there, right, this is what we call a chamfer if we're uh, talking about cutting an edge on a metal that is nice and it's not rounded, but it's uh, also not a sharp edge anymore. 